Hi, my name is Scott Mulligan, Senior Software Developer at Sitecore. Today we're going to be looking at Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. All right, let's start with taking a look at the content exchange part of this connector. The content exchange part of the connector is responsible for pushing uh, media from Sitecore's media library up into Salesforce Marketing Cloud. That's available online with the Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud 1.0 version of the connector. The second part of the connector is behavioral data exchange. This part really focuses on pushing other data up into Salesforce Marketing Cloud so it can be used for building out lists and segmenting users in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We'll take a look at this in just a second. The behavioral data exchange functionality is available with the Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud 2.0 version of the tool. So just to reiterate, the content exchange functionality is available for Sitecore 9.0 and above with the 1.0 version, and the behavioral data exchange functionality is available with the second uh, version of this tool available for Sitecore 9.1 and above. Now, when we take a look at uh, behavioral data exchange, and we really dig into that, we see that there's uh, two different types of data that's being pushed from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. The first is Sitecore contact data. So this is really XDB contacts and their associated facets pushed up to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And the second is segmented lists. So this is static and dynamic lists from Sitecore's list manager tool uh, being pushed up with the same segmentation up in Salesforce Marketing Cloud where it can be used for lots of purposes. And we'll take a look at that in a few minutes. In order to explore pushing data from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, we're going to start our journey with the Habitat Fitness app. This is a fictional uh, progressive web app built on Sitecore JavaScript services. Um, it's a, an event-driven website meant to get visitors to sign up for local events in their area. So as visitors browse around the site, they can go and explore events and find out more information about it, and we'll register for one in a moment. But they also have the option to personalize their experience and uh, give Sitecore some extra data about themselves and what they're interested in. So for example, uh, in this case, I'm going to say that I'm interested in basketball and that I'm, uh, let's say I'm pretty good at it. Um, next, we're going to give some demographic data uh, about ourselves, which might be important if we're going to play at an event or something like that. And finally, we'll uh, give our first name, last name, uh, and email. All right, we've now registered for the app and uh, we've uh, given a little bit of information about us, ourselves. And you'll notice that we've gone back to the homepage and it is now personalized with um, a featured event that's related to basketball and uh, other events related to basketball and um, other pieces of content that might be related to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say I, I like the look of this one and I'm gonna register for this event. I'm now registered and uh, all ready to go for this one. And that's probably enough. One event today is good. I'm going to end my time on this site and we're going to go into Sitecore and take a look at some of the information that we've gathered. Now we're into Sitecore. There's lots of applications, lots of reporting apps that we can take a look at. But we're going to uh, focus on the experience profile and the list manager today. So let's start by taking a look at experience profile. This is really a single view into a customer where we'll really be able to find out a lot about what they did on the site. And here's this new user that we just registered as. If we click on this, we're taken to a screen where we really do see a lot about this visitor's journey. We can see an overview of everything they've done on the site, all the goals they've triggered. Uh, we can see all of the pages that they've visited. And again, all of the goals that they've triggered. So registered, um, completed their sport, sport profiling. Obviously, we have contact information about them as well as uh, we have profiling information. So here we have demographic data such as age group, and we also know what sports they're interested in. So today I was interested in basketball, but they might be interested in multiple sports. All right, if we go back and take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at list manager next. 
One of the other pieces uh, of information that uh, is useful for this connection to Salesforce Marketing Cloud is uh, lists created in the list manager. And we have two dynamic lists set up today. This first dynamic list is uh, configured to bring in anyone who has signified they're interested in basketball. So there's a rule set up for that. You can see there's lots of people brought in from XConnect based on their interest in basketball. The next dynamic list is focused on uh, bringing in people that have registered for a specific event. So in this case, I had registered for a specific basketball challenge and I'm added into the list uh, right here at the bottom in real time. Uh, and this is a good segmented list and example that can be pushed up to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. If we take a look at the Sitecore content tree, we'll start by exploring the media library. Now, if I'm to navigate to a particular folder in the media library, here we have all the basketball related images. Uh, maybe you would use those for event imagery. Uh, you can go ahead and push that media into Salesforce Marketing Cloud manually by clicking this button, or you can set up watch directories in your folder structure so that when images or other media are uploaded into Sitecore, they're automatically pushed into Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So that takes care of the media syncing. The next up is the behavioral data exchange. That's driven by the data exchange framework. So we have it configured here and set up to push the data to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And if you're familiar with the data exchange framework, uh, everything is run through a concept called pipeline batches. Here we have one set up. It's called push XConnect contacts and marketing lists. So that's really pushing all the XDB contacts, all the segmented data in one in one pipeline, and you can go ahead and run that manually by clicking in the ribbon here. Now, in a real scenario, you might not want to run that manually. Uh, you'll likely set up some sort of a scheduled task to sync this data once an hour or whenever you need. The last thing I'm going to show you in the Sitecore content tree is uh, this is all about pushing XConnect data uh, to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and Data Exchange Framework makes that really easy. So by default, we have the default XConnect uh, list of facets that can be pushed up to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. But in our case, for our Habitat Fitness site, we had a custom XConnect uh, model that extends that with some extra facets. For example, uh, we have uh, registered events are logged as XConnect facets. We have favorited events, uh, sports, and stuff like that. Uh, and the great thing about Data Exchange Framework is you're able to pass your model into data exchange framework, and it will actually build out your full model in terms of items. It will build out all the facets in the content tree like this. Uh, it's a real time saver. And once it builds out this model, um, all the facets are available through um, the Sitecore connector, Salesforce Marketing Cloud connector to push up. We're gonna switch gears. We've now logged into Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We're gonna take a look at uh, media that's been synced up to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, as well as some of the other data, contact and segmented list data. First, let's go to the Content Builder tool in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. This is where we will be able to take a look at some of the media. Uh, so we, in this case, we've pushed up basketball-related images, maybe related to the fitness event we were looking at earlier. And uh, these images are available to build out emails and stuff like that. So next up, we're gonna jump back and take a look at the audience builder. Specifically, there's an area called the contact builder in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Uh, we're gonna open up this and we'll see that there is a special area for Sitecore attributes. And when we jump in here, you can see that uh, this has been set up to uh, allow Salesforce Marketing Cloud to collect uh, XDB contact data as well as segmented list data that is linked back to the contact. So if we jump and take a look at data extensions, a very powerful part of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud, you'll see that here we have a series of folders added from Sitecore. Now, the first time you run uh, the Salesforce Marketing Cloud connector, it will create this data structure for you. Uh, so the Sitecore folder, email, and journeys folder. Here in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, we can take a look at the list of all of the XDB contacts that have been synced up. Um, so here we can take a look at a record view. We can see just basic stuff such as contact key, email address, first name, last name, as well as we've decided to, decided to sync up uh, some, some important event-related info. 
we're syncing up their sport of preference and uh, their rating for that particular sport, as well as their age demographic. So uh, all of these are XConnect facets and we're eligible to be pushed up and we can now use them to personalize uh, you know, emails um, and send uh, marketing automation journeys in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Lots of great stuff that we'll take a look at. Uh, if we go back and take a look at data extensions, we'll be able to see uh, as well as the uh, Sycor contacts, we also have the segmented list. So here is um, a dynamic list of everyone who had signified their interest in basketball and they're synced up as well, just like before. Okay, so now that we have the content in data extensions in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, now we can do some fun stuff with it. To start with, we're gonna take a look at the journey builder. Um, so this allows you to build out marketing automation plans and stuff of that nature. We're gonna go in and take a look at a particular journey. And here we have one. So in this example, um, there's quite a few actions along the way, but the most important thing is, um, you know, pushing all of these contacts and segmented lists up in Salesforce, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, uh, we can really have the entry point into this journey defined uh, based on Sitecore contact data and their segmented list. So for example, maybe we want a journey where only people who are interested in basketball are going to enter this journey. Only people who have registered for a specific event are going to enter this journey. We also have another example uh, of different segmentation you can do in the journey builder here. We have uh, age range. Maybe everyone enters the journey, but based on their age demographic, they're put down a different path. Uh, in this case, uh, if you're under 35, you get a push notification on your phone compared to an email reminder or something like that. All right, so now we're going to move on from the Journey Builder to Email Studio in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And when we take a look at the emails, uh, there's definitely a lot that we can do with uh, all of the data and media that we've brought across. Let's take a look at a particular uh, email we've built out for event reminders or event registration. We're going to go ahead and edit this email. And when we do, you can see that we have access to all of the content, including basketball related images that we pushed up from Sitecore and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So I could grab those images and build out the email, as well as um, now that we have great segmented data, we could do things such as building out uh, personalization in the email. So here we have some uh, dynamic content block in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. You can create rules off of data extensions. Um, so for example, in this one, let's take a look at, we're gonna add um, all contacts that have been synced up. We can segment on them and say, uh, anyone who is, um, let's do sports, their sport preference. Anyone who is interested in basketball today. All right, we can, uh, in this case, we can add a particular image. Sure, why not? We'll pick a basketball image. Uh, this looks like a good one. And we're all set with the personalization there. We can also have sort of a default image as well. We'll pick this one. So now you can see that we have, without really doing much work, we've built out simple personalization in the email, in the email where if you're interested in basketball, you'll get one image, and by default, you'll get another. That wraps things up for today. Uh, this was our look at Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Connector. This is the new version 2.0 that brings in the behavioral data exchange. This can be paired with the version one of the connector that focuses on the content exchange. Between the two, that allows you to sync uh, media from Sitecore's media library, pushing that to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and behavioral data exchange allowing you to push Sitecore contact data as well as segmented lists. With all of that data synced, you now have a lot of information to enhance your marketing capabilities on Salesforce Marketing Cloud.